Hey the rulers, DMO73 here bringing you the deck list for the Raya Mystery Station. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to pre-order upcoming Force of Will sets, ccgprime.com for singles and supplies, cardodoco.com for those rulers in the international market looking for product, the Ruler School Circuit Series now offering our 2024 Quarter 1 Circuit Kits, and our guest lecturer members, Fight Ramen. Class is in session. So here is the list. It is an absolute blast to be able to play this kind of mono dark style list. We're starting with Solara Station of Darkness so that we can have Return of Judgment and Return of the Blood. Because if we start with Return of Judgment and we bring in Rhea, we can also get Return of the Blood, which just gets you so much value. And we'll kind of talk about that as we go. So this is a base mono darkness list, mainly so that we can run the 10 Darkness Solara sites and feel comfortable with being able to play every card. You'll notice that we do have Cascade of Water Solara Sire in here. The main reason is we can absolutely cast this because at the beginning of the game we have a Gears Ruler, so we can not pay the blue for that. And once we get to uh, Liberated, we have Reinhardt, which is a Water Ruler, which then covers that base. So as long as we're not playing any Resonators, this card will be able to be accessible, which is nice to just have that kind of interaction in a mono dark build. Um, obviously, from there, it's kind of there's the Darkness Solara Sire engine which is just you know things like life zapper solarized statue to be able to make those tokens um the life zapper chrono gear to be able to make tokens as well as being able to um you know inherit the stars or or reincarnate on top of the solarized statue lucifer for life gain uh life drain raya for mill um things like that the honestly like raya package in this deck is pretty small it's a couple copies of glint of insight a couple copies of dark knight butterfly and then you know the four darkness bloods the four rayas it's a pretty and the four mikage rayas right so it's a pretty straightforward list a couple copies of Sol um solarius darkness just to kind of help fuel the engine and some kind of anti-search stuff in this meta is still pretty important so that's why it's there and then we're also playing a couple copies of sword of the new moon this can be kind of a flex spot you could also put in things like spider's web if you wanted to do that as well um, those are just kind of some things to kind of think of so this list is j rulers are everywhere this format and so it is very very easy for us to do liberation of darkness to just pop one of our uh tokens um and then pop our opponent's j ruler and liberate which is crazy because raya just generates you so much mad value again remember her flip effects every single time you judgment her is that you get to look at your opponent's hand and then First off, you're going to generate mystery counters, and then you're going to look at your opponent's hand, name a card, and they can't cast it until the end of their next game, or end of their next turn. So you get to really control what your opponent is doing, and then you usually get to go into some really crazy Darkness Blood loops. Um, you can very easily set it up so that your opponent just never gets a card again in their life, um, and it's there's really cool stuff there. And you can use Liberation of Darkness to help pay for Judgment of Rhea, which is really good. And then again, if you have something like Life Zapper in your graveyard, when you um, reincarnate, so Judgment Raya, reincarnate into the Liberated Blood, which then will proc uh, Return of the Judgment, and then, but also if you have Life Zapper Chrono Gear in the graveyard, it procs that too to get added. So like I said, you saw in the match, you perform Judgment and you put five effects on the chase. One from Judgment, one from the Search here, two from Mikage Raya, and the Life Zapper Chrono Gear effect to add on to it. So it's just so much value for potentially almost no will based on how many liberations you have, and you can really just control the board state from there. Um, and then one thing to note just about this deck for draw power, you have a lot of it surprisingly in this deck, um, which is really nice because the way Liberation of the Blood works is if you've burned a mystery counter for any reason at the end of the turn, you draw a card and it replays replenishes your uh, mystery counters. Glints of Insight can remove two mystery counters from it to give it remnant. That doesn't say main timing, so even though you can't cast it during your opponent's turn, you can give it remnant during your opponent's turn, which means you can just give it remnant, not cast it, and then draw a card. Um, so you just keep your hand very, very full with this list, um, which is really, really cool. And usually once you flip Raya, even just one time, it's pretty much the game because of how much value you generate, especially if you get her liberated and reincarnated. So that is the list. As always, the link to this is in the description down below if you want to check it out yourself. Let me know what you guys have been goofing around with with these new extension rules and rulers or if you're playing it as a station first or not. Um, this has been a lot of fun to play, but I'm curious to see what your builds are in the description in your comment section down below. And until next time, this is DMO73 saying class dismissed.